first place we're off to is Chef Binta. Um, she does a dining experience called Fulani Kitchen. She weaves her understanding of her culture with her food, really being able to share what she's been able to, to do with that. The food scene is really important, so I can't wait to really enjoy it and taste it. Um, let's see what she'll do. So what are you making for us today? I'm making mafe chaku. Chaku means oko mm -hmm. in Fulani. Tori is made from dry cassava powder, mm -hmm. which is kind of our own fufu. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, we can't wait to have it. <laughs> this is dried smoked fish mm -hmm. and granite paste, okay. salt, dried pepper, dried oko, tomato, yeah. onions. Okay. Just this. So then you add water. We use dried smoked fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you peel. The difference about Fulani cuisine in general, <laughs> it has to do with ingredients mostly. Most of the ingredients are sun dried. Mm -hmm. And because of that, whenever they prepare most of their dishes, we hardly use things like the palm oil. Mm -hmm. Always, most of it are just pure flavors. Okay. Pure flavor, no maggi. Mm -hmm or anything extra. Mm -hmm. Like in the village, my grandma would only use salt mm -hmm. or the salted fish because mm -hmm. they have this way they salt the fish to preserve it. It seems as if you innately know how to cook. It's mm -hmm. something that you grew up doing and it's something that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. How did you really transition that into it being a career? I moved to Spain mm -hmm. in 2011 mm -hmm. and then I was teaching English. Okay. Um, so then I lost my job. Then I had to yeah. come up with a plan B to survive. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I decided to start making sandwiches for students at the IE Business School. Mm -hmm. And then also prepare like African dishes for mm -hmm. African students. Mm -hmm. After two years, I moved back to Ghana. I was out of job for so long. Mm -hmm. Getting a job in Ghana was not easy for me actually. And then it just hit me like, I think it's time you just focus on what you really love mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then make money out of it. Mm -hmm. So then I decided to go to culinary school because I didn't want to just cook. I want to be a very good chef. There's so many similarities in the food that we eat and we actually don't know that we're also representative of one people. What we tried today was quite similar to what we call as peanut soup. And to mix the Fulani tradition of drying ingredients and having dried okra in the soup was absolutely fantastic. The Fulani food was amazing. It's important that we have open minds and that we explore different tastes and palates and be culturally inquisitive with what you eat.